Welcome to easyliving.com. I'm Jan Herdman and today we're talking on non-surgical body contouring with Dr. Sanjay from the Kakuna Aesthetic Centre. Welcome Dr. Sanjay. Thank you very much Jan, thank you for having me here. Pleasure. Uh, this is a, certainly a very interesting topic and I know that there's been a lot of developments in the non-surgical procedures. Can you just outline for us what the new developments are. I know that there's different equipment. Do you use the equipment by itself or is there nutrition as well? Can you just explain a little? Basically it is a combination of few things and that's meant for people who are worried about their body and they're worried about the shape or they're worried about some amount of fat, extra fat that they have deposited in the body. Um, now what uh, people are looking for is something simple, something which is not very complicated, does not have a lot of side effects. So obviously non-surgical is very important part here, mm -hmm. which means it's minimal invasive, which means there's no penetration inside the body directly. So we use a combination of things including equipments and machines that helps to penetrate the level, uh, the, the skin and attack the fat mm -hmm. and combined with uh, education. Right. from lifestyle management to, to the nutrition management. So it's basically a combination of all of these uh, that uh, are used. So are you saying that p you can take someone who is, um, has excess fat? That's true, yeah, word? excess fat, exactly. And you can contour that? How does that work? Uh, you can actually reduce that. Uh, what happens is when, when a person is trying to lose weight uh, uh, and if they are attempting to lose weight, they usually generally lose weight from all over the body. Mm -hmm. And there's always a fixed pattern and everybody has their own pattern of weight loss. But obviously they, you will find people who are more concerned about a certain part of the body which they are trying hard. There's no such thing as spot reduction. Okay, they except can't the machine. Anything, exactly, and this is where the machine or the equipment plays role. Uh, what we do is with the machine you focus on a certain area of the body, let's say for example somebody has a big tummy yep. uh, and the fat is under or a flab is under the skin. What you do is you, you, you focus on that area using equipment that targets the fat cells underneath the skin. You use whatever injectables or medications or, or lasers that focuses on these layers of fat. So what happens is it makes the fat cells lose okay. and it metabolizes in the body. So can you do that without um, an invasive procedure, like without needles? Can you do it with just uh, um, the machine? Uh, ideally to get a good um, objective improvement, you need to combine both. I mean you can do it purely non-invasive without penetrating the skin, without the needle, but then obviously you are looking at a moderate result, mm -hmm. which may just be more subjective than objective. So what you need to do is combine few things, um, something that works from on the top of the skin without hurting anybody or penetrating the skin along with some injectables which are tiny injectables, not very painful but the combination works better. And how long does this sort of process take? Well it can take about say a, a particular session can last anything from, from half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on the mm -hmm. number of areas of the body but it does require need to be repeated. Repeated treatments. So yeah. for someone who, as you say, has a big belly, um, how many treatments would, would you require and how much would you lose? It does take several sessions. What we do is we do have protocols. Now we classify people into different type. A person may be a normal weight, say for example, a little paunch. A person may be overweight with a bigger, bigger tummy. A person may be obese with a lot of fat with big flaps, you know. So you need to classify these people, identify the, uh, the location of the fat. It may not work very well if the fat is located, say, inside, deep inside the tummy. You know, mm -hmm. it, the, no matter what machine or what equipment you use, it won't penetrate that far. So if you have identified and if it's a moderate amount of fat, you need to do say about six to eight sessions, attack the fat, do it on a weekly or fortnightly basis until you start seeing improvement. Okay. And are these um, sessions, are they expensive? They're not expensive. Uh, they are value for money. Uh, however, I would uh, probably add that it's not very predictable, unfortunately, unlike surgery or right. unlike invasive method where you can predict and you can actually remove the fat. These are slightly unpredictable. It may work for, for, for a certain percentage of people, it may not work for, for others. So the best way to deal with that is to have a small t test session for, few, um, uh, for a few weeks, mm -hmm. evaluate the result. If the outcome is what one is expecting, then you increase the number of sessions and then uh, try to give better result. But if you see that it's completely resistant, no matter what you're using, it's not making any difference, 
get back to the diet. Huh? Get yeah. back to diet, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So overall, it's really it is a combination of diet, exercise, and and using these new developments for spot reduction. That's true. Thank you, Dr. Sanjay, for joining us. That was really educational. Thank you, Jane. Thank you very much. This is Jan Herdman on EasyLiving.com. If you have any suggestions or queries, then please leave them below, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>